the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David Payne. Our streak is about to come to an end, isn't it? Some yeah. people saw some rain today. Yeah, uh, yeah, west of uh, Guthrie, near Crescent, yeah. for about an hour and a half. We'll take it. Uh, you know, <laughs> people were, were driving there. <laughs> well, I saw the, the cloud. I, I saw the, the thunderstorm from yeah. afar. I was like, oh, please come our way. Yeah, it was drifting east, and uh, the, it was just all heat driven. So they go up, they collapse, and they go away. So it lasted about an hour and a half. So nice. yeah. good stuff. When you have that much heat, it's going to go up, but then. It went away. So, either way, not done yet. Not finished. No, we have more rain tonight for some of us, and then again, several waves coming up. Temperatures are coming down. So, this is a good thing going into this this time of year. Mm -hmm. for Sounds sure. like it. Yeah. Let's take a look. First of all, here we go. We're talking about what's happening right now. Tornadoes, by the way, have been on the ground this evening east of Kansas City, uh, doing some damage up there. Why? The jet stream's right there. That's all it takes. Heat and humidity, and jet stream. You're going to get severe weather. Tornado warning does continue. Uh, west of and southwest, uh, southwest of St. Louis there. But what we're watching is not there so much as it is back to the southwest. We're talking about what's going on in Colorado. All right, this is making its way to the southeast. That's going to be our storm system for later tonight and tomorrow morning. That will give some of us, some of us, a little bit of rain and some thunderstorms, right? So here we go. Take a closer shot and a little complex here, gaining steam, getting a little bit stronger. And that will pick up some speed tonight, come into the northwest. Might be strong and or severe as it moves in here later tonight. Talking about Harper County, Beaver, and uh, Woodward. Yep, up towards Woods County, up towards Alva. So that'll be the zone if we have any severe weather at all. But this system will give northern Oklahoma the best chance of rain. That'll be later tonight. 90 degrees in Oklahoma City Yeah, at, uh, what time is it, 10, 16? Yeah, that's still hot, right? 90 degrees. How about we have highs for a couple of days only near... 90 degrees. I'll take that. Nice shot of downtown, part of our Lucky Star Skycam network. Our dew points are in the upper 60s. All right, here we go. We have temperatures in the 80s and 90s, like Will Rogers at 90 degrees. A little front in the northwest. That'll hang up there tonight and tomorrow. We have 77 right now in Guymon. And as we jump north here, 81 in Ponca City, 90 down in Paul's Valley. So there is still plenty of heat hanging around. So this is where we've been the last two weeks. The heat dome. It's been overhead. The storm path or storm tracks been to the north, but each and every day it's been moving a little farther south. All right, so we're going to bring it farther south tonight. We'll bring it farther south tomorrow night into your Sunday morning with a better chance of rain and storms for Oklahoma. So we smash down the heat dome. We shove it west. We shove it south. Hot for them. They're going to get a lot hotter, but we're going to cool off some and we'll get a couple of fronts in here. Now, this won't last through fall, right? This is just going to be a three or four day deal. But for this time of year, if you can get that, somebody is living right somewhere. All right. So tonight, there you go. Scattered showers and a few thunderstorms in the north. Might see a few in Oklahoma City late tonight and into tomorrow morning. And then what I'm watching is going to be what we get as we get into tomorrow evening. Still might have a few more in the north tomorrow afternoon. And then tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, here comes a bigger wave of showers and thunderstorms across the state. Some of these strong, possibly severe. Wind and hail, that's the main threat. And then by Sunday morning, still some rain hanging around. And by mid to late morning on Sunday, it'll push in eastern Oklahoma. That'll be it. And we'll end up with a cooler and a dry Sunday afternoon. So hang on. All right, lows tonight, mid-70s, right? Now tonight, this will be late tonight, tomorrow morning. Best chance of showers and thunderstorms will be across northern Oklahoma, all right? As you move south, that chance of rain really drops off. No more than a 30% chance for showers in Oklahoma City late tonight and tomorrow morning. And one or two of these storms in the northwest overnight could be strong, could be severe. The threat will be some wind and some hail, quarter-size hail, winds maybe 60, 65, and um, no tornadoes, okay? Highs tomorrow, 98 in Oklahoma City. Let me back that up. That was so good. Let's do it again. 92 in Ponca City, 100s tomorrow, still down south, but we'll be a little cooler tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, I-40 north, still a chance for a few scattered showers and storms around. But hang on, late tomorrow evening, tomorrow night into Sunday morning, I think we get the second bigger wave of rain and storms coming out of Kansas, coming out of our panhandle, coming out of the Texas panhandle. And a few of these, yes, could be strong, could be severe. Once again, winds 60, 65 miles per hour with some quarter size hail in there. And then look at Sunday, low 90s, low 90s with a north breeze. It beats 105 to 110 between late tonight and all the way through Monday. We'll say half an inch in the purple or the pink, half inch to an inch 
in the blue. Rain totals. Not everyone's going to get that, but it does look good. Could see another wave Sunday night, Monday morning. Could see a third wave. Hang on for your Monday night into Tuesday morning. And then by the end of next week, you know it. You got it. The heat does return. Here we go, guys. Back to you.